A while ago, I came across the work of David Kennedy. David is a professor at the University of Western Australia, and he is a specialist in archaeology using aerial and satellite photography. The exciting thing about David's work is something he has discovered in 2010 in the Harat Ash Sham in northeast Jordan. He discovered chain walls, and their purpose is unknown. These ancient walls at first glance seem to defy many of the conventions of wall construction. They are not contiguous, instead they are made of small C-shaped sections, and lines of these meander haphazardly for kilometres. The walls have no symmetry, nor are they arranged in any recognisable shape. Lastly, the walls are not very high, most are less than a metre off the ground. This is the Asaji chain wall in the Black Desert of Northeast Jordan. The aim of this project is to calculate the quantity of time it would take to produce this entire wall. This will be an incremental step in a much larger demographic investigation of Black Desert petroforms for which so little is known. So here we are looking southwest. Uh, this is uh, the chain wall along here and uh, unfortunately it's been clipped by a, a freeway that's gone through so there has been a a certain destruction of the archaeological record uh, but let me highlight the wall outline for you so uh, that's it there uh, it's about a kilometer and a half uh, from end to end um, and let me give you a top-down view and it's that sort of shape this is an important experiment as it's going to contribute a small but key piece of knowledge to an area that has far more questions and answers Although there was a growing body of information on the nature and function of kite petroforms that are found in the area, there's been no dedicated studies on the nature and function of these chain walls. Similar experiments to this have been done before about ramparts and structures in various places around the world, but this will be the first study specifically about chain walls. By understanding the amount of time it took to create one, we can better understand the lifeways of the inhabitants who built them. This project was done in three parts. First, the average size of each ring was estimated, then the number of rings in each wall were counted, and lastly I got my hands dirty and I built one, and I wrote down how long it took. Maths, then brought it all home. Okay, let's take a look at how each step was done. The only published information on the size of these rings says they are 2 to 3 metres across. We can verify this and estimate the average size of the circles. In the bottom left of this image are two large trucks that, in the absence of anything else, is a pretty good size reference. The average large truck is 2.4 metres wide, therefore we can use the outline at the top of the truck as a digital yardstick. So let's see that in action. So if I take my truck here, um, what I can do is use that as a yardstick here, and as you can see, uh, it fits sort of snugly into the center of most rings. I mean, some rings are, you know, twice the size, but on average, uh, the rings, it, it fits snugly in one ring. So uh, using this approach, it's been determined that the average internal diameter is three meters wide with a wall thickness of 0.8 of a meter. The average circumference is about 180 degrees with uh, trailing arms at the end of each circle. So I carefully counted up all of the rings that make up the Asaji chain wall, and it totaled to the highly suspect number of precisely 600. After spending 20 minutes pondering this improbable round number and the inevitable scepticism that will come neatly packaged with it, I threw caution to the wind and published it here.
Later, when it comes to the maths, I will make hay. Two things of note. I didn't include in the count any of the eight larger circular shapes that appear at regular intervals around the wall. Also, it should be noted that counting these circles was subjective. In order to see all the circles, a high level of magnification was required, which was a challenge to define where some circles started and others ended. Even if I was on the ground, this would be a somewhat subjective exercise. This was the location chosen for the construction of the chain wall section. The base was sand and the stone type was mixed and it was readily available right next to where the building took place. Regrettably a source of basalt could not be found in time. Once the tide went out and the rocks were exposed, the building began. Two people constructed it by hand without the aid of tools. The internal diameter is 3 metres and the wall thickness is 80 centimetres. It is just over 180 degrees of a circle. It took 55 minutes to construct what you see here, and that equates to 1 hour and 50 minutes per chain wall per person. As you can see, the resulting wall looks similar to the originals. OK, it's time for the maths, and we're going to follow Wheeler's approach to presenting these results. It took two unskilled men 55 minutes to make the ring. Therefore, it would take one unskilled man one hour and 50 minutes to make the ring by himself. Therefore, it would take one poor man 1,150 hours to make all 600 rings by himself. Now, assuming he was working 10 hours a day on it, one unskilled man would make 600 rings in 115 days. Therefore, it would take 10 men 11.5 days to make all 600 rings. There are some variables that should be mentioned. Basalt is a heavy stone, and although the stone we used to build the wall was heavy, it's not believed to be as heavy as basalt. Now both Kev and myself who built the wall may have a different muscle mass or body strength of your average ancient Jordanian. Also, the wall was constructed on a cool overcast day. Given a much hotter day, this may have changed the amount of time it took to make. Lastly, the Asaji chain wall is incomplete. Part of it has been destroyed when the highway was put through. Also, there are some parts where waterways from heavy rainfall have erased parts of the wall. So this project is only measuring what is there now, not what was there when it was first built. From the discoveries made, we can infer that the building of the Asaji chain wall was not a difficult job, nor was it a prolonged one. Ten men spending one day a month on it would have it finished in a year, or a hundred men could have it done in a day and a half. The pace at which the wall could be made was surprising, as the wall's impact on the landscape suggests a much larger construction effort. This new information is only important when placed in context. Currently the group or type of people responsible for the wall is unknown. They may have been hunter-gatherers, pastoralists or some other group completely such as traders. In time this will be understood, as the 7,000 year window that the wall was constructed within is narrowed or other archaeological investigations take place. Both will help to eliminate possibilities and form a picture of the people who lived here. Although we know little about the people who built this petroform, we now have an approximation of the quantity of time they committed to monumental structure creation. The aim of this project was to calculate the quantity of time it would take to produce the remaining parts of the Asaji chain wall, which we now know to be 115 person days at 10 hours a day. There are known variables that could impact the time taken to build the wall, including stone type, strength of the builders and weather. The Black Desert petroforms are highly unusual and not well understood. This discovery will contribute towards our understanding of the people who created it. <laughs>